I think the Fresh Legs concept is a fantastic initiative. Uh, it gives players a platform to see how, what it takes to be a professional. Um, there's not a lot of opportunity, so it's sort of... Whoa! No way! <laughs> Welcome to Fresh Legs. Subscribe, comment and like. How's it? I'm John. Um, I'm an attorney, football agent and director at MSC Sports. I'm Gavin Hunt, the head coach at uh, Supersport United. Uh, the most important thing with a footballer, obviously you need to have a bit of talent, you know, to be at the level. But the, most, the big thing is your, the attitude, you know, you've got to have good attitudes, you've got to have the, the, the desire to want to play, you know, to play football because everybody says, they, oh, they, they want to play, but do they really want to play? What's, their, what's their, their attitude like when you don't have the ball? Are they working hard for the team? So there's a big thing, the higher the level you go, the most important thing coaches will look for is attitude, you know, could the attitude work great and, and, uh, and that's what it's all about. And the ones that do that will go higher and higher in the football. Well, the Fresh Legs concept, uh, firstly, I mean, I think it's a great initiative by you guys. Um, identifying talent at grassroots level, at tournaments, um, giving players exposure to, number one, what it takes to be a professional, um, giving them a platform to showcase their skill um, with a professional club. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think it is fantastic. In, in South Africa, there is a bit of a gap between your, your non-professional teams um, getting access to the professional teams and getting um, opportunities, so I think it's fantastic. For me personally, talent is one thing, um, mindset, uh, attitude, a player that's willing to work, willing to learn and willing to listen. Those are the three things that I would, I would say are, are most important for me personally. Every player, a good player, has got a level where, wherever you are in the world and then when they get to the level, you'll see them just pan out. Where you'll see a player coming to a level, he's like way better. That means he can go to the next level, and then eventually they find their level, you know. So, yeah, I'll look at the kids today, and I'll see if they're any decent, and uh, maybe their running style needs to be worked on. Maybe they, you know, the touch. Touch can always, you know, but. And the characteristics of where they play. The biggest problem we have in this country is some players are not. They're better suited to certain positions than where they are playing. And that, we don't have enough positional identification at a very early age. We do it much later. So I'll, I mean, I've had players, they tell me they come here, they're centre midfield players, and, but they're big and stridy and lopy, and they might be better centre backs, or, you know, wingers might be better full backs, or, you know, those type of things. So that, that obviously takes an eye and, and understanding of what, what's required. The process is we have a lot of. Um, scouts out there that they would recommend players to us. Yeah. Once a player lands on my table or we get uh, referred a player, I'll go out, look at them, um, see if they've got what we're looking for, those three things I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, if we feel that he's got an opportunity to make it, we'll have a meeting with him, understand his character, understand his personality, a bit of his background, um, and then from there try and open the door uh, with, a, with a club. Not everybody makes it. 1% makes it, um, there is a chance and in South African football where I think the standard is not the best, I think you've got a chance of making it if you've got certain good characteristics of, of, of your personality and, your, and, and how, you, you know, how you see the game. Because and, 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 I can always see a player that cares about the game and a player who doesn't care about the game this yeah. two minutes. So, you know, those type of things and sometimes you can be a good, good average player and you could play in a good team and do a very good job for them. So there's, there's a gap for everybody, there's a mark of everybody. And then obviously there's the ones who are really taking chances, they're not really good enough, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes the truth hurts and you have to be told, listen, maybe find a day job or something, you know what I mean? Just leave this game alone or play amateur football or something, you know? And sometimes people do give hopes to, to players. And I'm not saying we right or I'm right, but there might be another opinion, might, boy might make it. But for what the level we're looking for, he not, might not be up to the standard. And we can't be saying, well, well, he's got potential and he's got, we need a little bit of time with him. And, you know, we need somebody closer than that. A mindset is basically being, being strong in order to... So if you have a, a goal and you want to achieve that goal, mm -hmm. you have to sacrifice a lot. You have to sacrifice your family, your friends, um, 
culture even if, if you're going overseas so I would say strong world um, never give up that's very important not giving up a few barriers would be uh, number one passport getting into specifically England um, number two is unfortunately Bafana Bafana is not ranked that highly on the FIFA rankings at the moment um, so European clubs uh, they're hesitant to look at um, players from South Africa and then number two a, a lot of frustration would be if the player has the right uh, or, or has the ability is a fantastic player a very talented player mindset is very important it's very difficult um, for players to, to go in a different environment they're used to South Africa the culture is completely different so that's why I said earlier that for me the player has to have the right mindset he's got to um, be willing to work willing to sacrifice a lot because it takes a lot to get overseas um, so that that is definitely a, a barrier a challenge but I think first and foremost I, I hope that number one they enjoyed it um, because again not many people are in this, this position to train with a PSL side especially a uh, Super Sport United who are doing phenomenally well in the, season, uh, in the league this season um, I think well I hope they've gained a bit of uh, insight into what it takes to become a professional the level of the, tra the training the level of the players the professionalism of all the players um, and yeah I, I hope that, that you know they can only go from strength to strength after this experience two one go follow go lounge tv awesome and i'll say like subscribe comment like? yes yeah yeah i was gonna do like subscribe like subscribe comment <laughs>